Well, I don't see why you keep stalling. What? Why are you giving the uh, quartermans all this extra time? You better understand this. The more time you give them, the longer this investigation is going to drag on. Right. Well, keep me posted. Nobody... Nobody wants to pull this hulk off the bottom. Everyone's passing the buck. Divers. Have you tried that? No one wants to pick up the tab for that kind of an operation. And we can't launch any full-scale investigation until that thing's off the bottom. Well, you can't keep it in that harbor forever. No, and the longer it stays there, it gives my brother all the more time to cover his tracks. You really think that Mac did it? He, ain't, he arrives in town with nothing in his pocket. In the next breath, he's got 75 big ones, all in cash. I mean, it looks like a payoff. Maybe. Anyway, we had to release the cash back to him. Lewis has the serial numbers and he's doing a follow-up. Maybe if we can make some kind of a connection with the money, we can link him to the sabotage. But you know, Robert... What? I find it a little odd that you're so anxious to convict your own brother. You wouldn't find it odd at all if you knew in the way that I did. Inform me that I'm supposed to work with him on this case, Robert, is that right? Mm -hmm. Is that a problem? No, uh, no, no, not right. at all. Just that uh, I was yeah. wondering... What? I was wondering if you're appointing me full investigator then. Well, you're still in uniform, if that's what you mean. No, I know that. I, I understand it. It's just that I thought that... Try not to screw up and we'll talk about it. Probation then, huh? Is that the word? Is that what you're telling me, that I'm still on probation? That's not the word. That's it. I guess you'll be needing me for the whole day then? Night, too. Night? <clears throat> Night? Well? Well, it's just that, um... Yes? Well, Felicia and I had plenty... I haven't seen her for about three days or so, and she had planned a sort of a... Mm-hmm. But a priority is a priority. I know we're all aware of that. We're adults here. I understand. Mm -hmm. Good. I can't give you a day. Uh... Maybe lunch. I have an appointment with Robin, uh, spring break. Uh, lunch, why don't... Why don't you take advantage of it? It's very kind of you, Commissioner. My family thanks you. Thank you. I can't get some information on that money that Mac was holding. The bad news is, it probably was pooled together from several transactions, each one less than $10,000. That way it doesn't raise a red flag to the IRS. Terrific. However, the good news is I checked with the central telegraph offices and they confirmed that there was indeed a transaction between one Mr. Max Scorpio and an unknown business account to the tune of 75,000 smackers. We can trace the branch, but it doesn't tell us who the payee is. I checked all the local offices. That money did not come from Port Charles. Well, maybe we ought to go over to the morgue, find a little more information from Mac about the smackers. It's going to make him suspicious. And it won't make any difference anyway. He's not at the morgue anymore. He got himself transferred out of that duty. What? I don't know how he did it, but he got himself down cleaning up down at the docks. The docks? Yeah. Yeah, it sounded kind of funny to me, too. What's he up to? What is he up to? Listen, as soon as you can, I want you down the docks to keep an eye on him. We're going to stay on this money trail and see if we can locate the source. Hi, hon. How are you doing? Oh, hello, sweetheart. Sorry. I finally got Mrs. to sleep. She really? hasn't been feeling very well. You know, She's I got the sniffles. Listen, but I gotta take me. off, so I gotta, I gotta go what? back to it. I said I gotta... What's this? It's my best laid plans. Best laid... <laughs> oh, that's funny. I wish it were, but I have a feeling I'm gonna be eating alone. Oh, uh... I don't know what to say. I got to get back and work with Robert today. Probably into tonight, too. You know, I mean, he's got me jumping through hoops right now. Well, I've got I better... a couple of hoops you can jump through. Can we get into this when I get back? I don't know. I don't know. I might go crazy by then, and I also might forget who you are. Alicia, I'm sorry. I'll make it up to you. I promise you, I'll make it up. I am it up. so sick of that old song. You know, 
what? It might be a lot easier if you just started working at Delafields again in front of all those googly, beautiful women. That way I wouldn't be spending all this time alone here all the time Speaking in this godforsaken place. Speaking of old songs. Place. You have no right to be sarcastic with me right now. Okay. Where do you think you're going? I just said Max was asleep. I left my police coat in our room, so I wanted to go and get it for tonight, if I work, okay? Well, if you were just a little bit more organized in the mornings, maybe you wouldn't be waking Max up all the time. Well, just what is this supposed to mean? What the hell is you going know on exactly here? what it means. It means that if you would just get all your things out in the morning, you shh, wouldn't shh, wake shh. her up. You don't want to raise your voice and wake up the child. Well, if this place were bigger, maybe we wouldn't be waking her up all the time. Oh, you are on quite a roll today, aren't you? I mean, what exactly is your problem, Felicia? Is it my job? Uh, my organization? Uh, our living quarters here? What is All it? All of it! All of it! And probably a lot more if you just let me finish. I see. Well, I'll tell you what I'll do. While I'm out today, thank you. I'll get myself a day planner, okay? Don't bother, Frisco. There's not enough room in this house for a day planner. Well, what do you want me to do? I mean, I'm working as hard as I can at this job. I might get promoted to investigator, then we can save a little money, get a new place. What the hell is your problem? Why is it always my problem? Because I don't mind living where we live right now. That's because you're never around. Can we drop this, please? Just plain old drop it. Hi. Come in. Hi. Sorry. Uh, I didn't mean to interrupt. No problem. Listen, I've just been thinking, uh, you know, about that apartment upstairs. Now it's empty. So uh, I was thinking maybe we could uh, do something with it. Like what? Like maybe we could break through to your apartment and we could turn it into a lock of the family room and then you'd have more room. How's that? Oh, well, that sounds wonderful, doesn't it, sweetheart? <laughs> I think Bobby can feel the chill in the air. You can kill the act. Come on, come on, stop it. I just want you two to be happy. So come on, what do you think? I think it's just what the doctor ordered. Unfortunately, I have to rush off and make a living so we can feed our child and live in a proper home that has heat and water and electricity. <clears throat> in the meantime, you guys can work out all the details, okay? I've got to go. Well, wait a minute. You might as well take part of your lunch with you. have a family room too that way we can put all of your stuff in the family room when company comes over and then we won't have to clean up <laughs> no no we won't have to clean up Isn't that... that was our imagination wasn't it max yeah 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 it was got a hold of that good girl Let's see. We'll have to take some of this furniture upstairs, too. Maybe we'll have to buy some more new furniture. I don't know. That was definitely not our imagination, was it? Here to look at the heater. Oh! Is that okay with you? Uh, sure. Uh, uh, Mrs. Jones forgot to tell me that you were coming. Yeah. Thanks, yeah. ma'am. She forgot to tell me anyone would be here. Yeah. Well, come on in. Let me show you where it is. All right. She's got a lot on her mind. Yeah. <laughs> this was all sent from Oregon Central Bank. No loggings of Scorpio. Maybe there's a business name here that'll ring a bell. Listen, um, contact DLQ. See if there's, uh, see if there's perhaps a, uh, 
a company that could be trying to make a hostile take it. What about your place? We should get some men over there. Well, there was nothing stolen. But then again, I doubt that that was the intention. Someone's trying to throw a scare at me. Right up. I'm going to have copies made of all this also. Thank you. Dr. Roberts probably after you too. Okay, I know, I understand that I'm being silly, but would you please just be careful? All right. Okay, well, I'll see you later. Goodbye. I'm just a little bit jumpy today, probably from spending so much time alone. Did you know your repairman almost got a lamp over his head today? <gasps> oh, I'm sorry. I forgot to tell you about him. That's no, all right. But don't <laughs> give me any more surprises. Oh, well, it's a good thing you brought it up, because I was going to surprise you with a carpenter I found today. You were? So fast? Yeah. Well, it's Joey. It's Bill Eckert's nephew. You know, he's supposed to be really good, and he's willing to help out with this place. Redo oh, it. That's great. We're ready. We're more than ready. I think you'll like him. He's nice. As a matter of fact... All the Eckerts are nice. I heard they had a rough time lately, hmm, with their bakery and everything. Yeah, they really have, you know, so I've been trying to help out Bill. It's been great. I mean, Bill's fixed a couple of things for me. He fixed my car today for practically really? nothing. Really? It sounds very sweet. Oh, yeah, yeah. As a matter of fact, he told me there wouldn't have even been a charge if it had been in his garage. Oh, you sound very enthusiastic about him. Yeah, well, I am. He's nice, you know. He's, he's funny. He's good company. He's... Hmm? he's your cousin. I know. He sounds very special. He is. He's very special. First, we money, but we might have a lead on who could have been tailing you. I didn't authorize you to you get... You put me back on the case. Now, who's to say that Mac wasn't following you? Fair assumption. Thank you. Did you find anything at your place? A couple of socks I thought I'd lost. Well, we spent all day on the Oregon Bank lead. 227 branches we went through, but we got what we wanted. Who sent it? We don't know. We only know the branch, and we know that the money came from Portland. Well, so did the Tracy. Aha, uh -huh. but get this. The transaction was made on exactly the same date as the ELQ sabotage. A payment. It's my guess. Hmm. Well, if I know my brother, he's going to stay where the money is. So maybe you're right. Maybe you should keep an eye on him.